fly box. I'm just gonna go over the bait fish pattern for this month's intermediate box. I've got my hook in my vise, my thread started here, and we're gonna add our tail in first, which is just gonna be a marabou feather. So as you would with any, uh, like a woolly bug or anything, we're just gonna attach that marabou just to the back of the fly there at our tie-in point and anchor that down with our thread. And I'm gonna advance my thread forward on top of this marabou feather here, just to help keep a consistent body so we don't end up with a large cliff of material here at the back where we tie in our dubbing. So I'll bring my thread forward to about the quarter way point of the hook and then trim this marabou off. Leave a little bit of a space there between your marabou and your eye of your hook so we can add some dubbing at the end of this fly. And I'll just anchor that down really well, kind of clean up the body a little bit, and then we're ready to add our dubbing in. The first piece of dubbing I'm gonna be using is Seal X dubbing. Uh, this is in Gray Ghost. You'll see I'm just pulling these fibers apart to get them to be even, as even as I can. And then as I go ahead and tie this onto the hook shank, I'm gonna leave the majority of this material hanging out the front of the fly. And I'll anchor that down nice and tight and then bring my thread forward a few turns, creating a little bit of a gap. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom with our Arizona Diamond Dub in Pearl. Just make sure you pull these fibers apart to keep the length consistent and so you don't end up with shorter or longer pieces. And then we'll add that to the bottom. And the same thing here, I'm just gonna anchor that down and wrap back. And then we're gonna make sure that we have even parts on top and on the bottom. So when we fold the stubbing back, as you see here, I'm gonna press down with my thumb and that'll kind of help flatten those out and roll those around half and half on the hook shank. And I'll anchor my top dubbing down and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. I'm gonna push that diamond dub down underneath the hook shank and I'll pull that back with my left hand and try to get all the fibers back and make sure that they go around the hook shank halfway. So that way you get a nice even body. If you don't uh, do that, you'll end up with the chenille showing um, or one of the dubbings will uh, be bigger on one side than the other. Next, I'm gonna attach my chenille. I just have regular old white woolly bugger chenille here. So I've attached that. I'm gonna bring my thread up my hook shank here to our quarter way point, and then just begin to wrap that chenille forward here. So this is where that consistent body is important. Otherwise, you'd have a big ledge, and you'd notice that in the chenille. Um, so we'll get up here to our thread, anchor down that chenille, and then trim off that excess. And then next we're ready to start building our head of this fly. And we're gonna basically repeat the steps from uh, the back end of the fly as far as the dubbing goes. I'll start with my top half, which is the, again that Seal X dub. And again, I'm just printing those fibers out, pulling them apart, getting them even, just stacking these dubbing fibers. I'm gonna time in the exact same way as I did on the back half. So once I have that ready, I'll leave the majority of the dubbing hanging out the front and I'll tie forward to just behind the eye of the hook. Just trying to keep those wraps nice and smooth and even, don't let your dubbing roll around um, on the side or underneath the hook, obviously. And then we'll do the same thing with our diamond dub again, creating the bottom half of this fly. And what really helps too, um, brushing this dubbing out can really go a long ways in just kind of creating the profile of this fly here. Um, I don't do that in the video, so just be aware of that. Now when you tie in the bottom half again, just make sure that that dubbing staying on the bottom and not rolling to the side or up on top. And I'll fold my top dubbing back. Again, I press down on my thumb and kind of flatten that dubbing out so it rolls to either side of the hook halfway and anchor that down. And then the same thing with our bottom section of dubbing. I'm gonna pull that back with my left hand, collecting all those fibers. You'll get a couple of whiskers that kind of hang out the front. If you pull those back, um, you should be able to get those laid down. If needed, go in and trim those out with some scissors. So now we're able just to build our head. I'm just really here, going here, just trying to create a nice, flat, smooth head to where we can start putting in our eyes and our UV glue.
So we're done with the fly, we whip finish, and add our eyes. So a little drop of super glue will help here when you add these eyes onto the fly. I'm just gonna do a drop here on the side facing me and add our first set of, our first eyeball right there and press and hold that on. Make sure that's secure. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Just make sure as you're doing it, you're, you're just keeping your eyes even and straight so you don't end up with, with crooked eyes there. So now we're ready to add our UV glue to this fly, and we're just gonna do that in two parts. I'll start by uh, first doing the top half of the fly, the, the, just the head of the fly. And what I'll do with that is I'm just gonna take my UV glue and just fill in the gap in between the eyes and just creating a nice round profile to this fly. And you just wanna make sure you fill that gap in that the glue comes up over the top of the eye. You don't have to cover the eyes with the glue, but you want that glue to make sure it's touching the inside of those eyes. So when you zap that with your UV light, it will um, secure those eyes in. If you don't have a UV light, um, you, can all, you can stick these out in the sun as well. So um, next we'll do the bottom half, same thing. We're just gonna fill in the gap between the eyes on the bottom half and just creating a nice smooth profile is all we're doing. And then we'll hit that with the UV light. I usually just, with this thick, I usually will cure it with the UV light uh, for 12 seconds, 15 seconds. Just kind of touch it and feel, 15 seconds is pretty good, I usually with this light. And then once we're done with that, uh, the fly's pretty much finished at this point. So as you can see, we've created our nice little head there. It's nice and smooth, got a nice uh, shiny look to it. Um, this fly swims awesome in the water, looks really good. Uh, it's got a cool little minnow profile. The last thing I do here is just doctor it up with a magic marker or with a Sharpie and just give it a little bit of barred look here and give it that minnow look. I like this color, looks like a little shad. Um, I like fishing this. We have a lake here in Utah to be able to fish striped bass with and um, be able to talk Steve into taking us down there to go chase some stripers. It'd be fun. So anyways, let us know how it goes, guys, with this. And most importantly, we'd like to see how, uh, how it fishes and how you guys uh, might catch and fish with it. So give us some pictures. Let us know how you do with it. And we will be back next.